Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sarah, and today I'm giving a birthday glam. So as you see, I am using the Jackie Anna palette and I'm going in with a packing brush and just blending that into her crease. And I'm just keeping it closer on the outside. So I'm going in with the Morphe X Jacqueline Hill palette. For the transition color, I'm going in with this yellow and I'm using that to blend out the brown from the Jaffe Ina palette. And if you feel that you are losing some of the brown, just reapply it. You don't have to use too much. And go back and forth with each color until you're satisfied. Now I'm going in with an e.l.f. concealer and I'm using that to not necessarily cut her crease, but just to clean up that open space so that I could place the lid color, which was basically a new color from um, the Nude palette by Huda Beauty. So now I'm just adding some brown and I'm just fading that onto the lid color just to make sure it has a gradient so it doesn't look like the lid color is just stamped on her eyelid. Now this right here, now this made the whole eye look. Like her eyes are pretty small, but I made it work and adding that orange and then them slayed by Sarah lashes in the style Sarah, boom. There you go, you got a look. I cannot wait till y'all see the finished look. But I'm priming her face with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer cause she does have oily skin. Now, if y'all like me and want to save a little coin when it comes to your um, makeup kit, I definitely recommend getting the LA Girl foundations. I used warm beige and beige on her. But y'all, this foundation is good and it's affordable. So I'll definitely make sure to drop where I got them down below. And y'all better go look into it. y'all see us kiki and just let you know anytime you get your makeup done by me it's never silence i love to make my clients feel comfortable and able to talk to me about anything also i study psychology so i love talking i love trying to understand people you know so just know when you book your appointment it's about to be lit and i'm about to guess you up the whole time
So as you can tell, the beige foundation is what is under her eyes and that's just prepping her for her highlight. And the warm beige was everywhere else on her skin because it matched her. Now I'm going in with my Morphe concealer and this is in the color 4.35 I believe and I'm using that to contour her and y'all you do not understand how hype I was. She is my first white client but y'all I really slayed her face like ugh giving myself pats on the back. And for a more cleaner look, make sure you go back under the contour line with your beauty sponge and clean it up, girl, with whatever's left from the bottom of the sponge. I'm going in with the Maybelline translucent powder and setting under her eyelids and anywhere else that I cream highlighted. Now don't forget, after drowning the face with setting spray, you're going to go back in with your beauty sponge and just pat all that product into the skin. This is what makes your makeup look like skin. This is very important, guys. So now I'm using my, I believe, Black Radiance Contour Palette and I'm going in with the Sculpt Shade instead of the contour and I'm just contouring that face, baby.
Now I'm going in with my Sephora lip liner in the color Molasses. And then for her lipstick, I'm going in with Max Balsam Friend. You already know this is my favorite lipstick. And to top that off, I'm actually using the concealer that I put under her eyes just to brighten it up because I could not find my NYX lip gloss that is just beautiful. And boom, she's all done. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed recording it and editing it and putting it out for you guys. Once again, thank you guys so much. And I love y'all.